Hi guys, this is the Dev Lounge, and today I'm going to be showing you some benchmark speeds of my new 27 inch iMac, a late 2012 model. So, first off, we're just going to run through what specs I actually got this iMac. So, if we go up here, we got the 3.4 gigahertz quad core i7, which has turbo boost up to 3.9 gigahertz. I also got 32 gigs of DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM. Uh, this configuration also came with the one terabyte fusion drive and the NVIDIA GeForce 680 MX with two gigabytes of dedicated RAM. So I'm gonna go through some of the popular uh, benchmarking tests in this video. So we're gonna start off with the black magic disk speed test. So if we hit start, we should see some pretty good read and write speeds. I've got up to about 330 uh, write and 410 read or so. I'm sure this can go faster. I'm sure other people have got some better results than this, but I'm pretty impressed with this considering it is a terabyte 7200 RPM drive with the 128 gigabytes of SSD attached onto it, making the Fusion Drive. It's actually really quick and fantastic, especially when you're loading up the OS. It's literally under 15 seconds till you're on your desktop screen. So that's enough of that. Moving on. I'm now going to do a Geekbench test. I don't have the 64-bit version, but I'm going to do a Geekbench test. Uh, test and show you the results once it's finished. So now that the test is finished, you can see that we got a Geekbench score of 13,073. I think if I had the 64-bit version, it would have been a thousand more or something, I'm not sure. But anyway, you can take away from this, you can look at some more details. But, I mean, the processor speed is fantastic, the memory is okay. But that's just a brief benchmarking test. So if I quit that, uh, now we're going to look at the Cinebench test, which will test graphics and uh, the CPU. So if I go ahead and run this, so here we are after running the Cinebench test uh, for the graphics card with OpenGL, we get 44.82 frames per second. I mean, that's okay, it's pretty good, and you'll see a lot better performance in actual games, and the CPU test of 7.45 is really good for its type as well. So, that's enough of that test. And now the last test I'm going to do is just a quick duplicating of a 1GB zip file. Now, this won't take long at all, so if I go ahead, right-click, duplicate, and I mean the thing's done before we even get the window to pop up. So that was just a quick video of me showing you some benchmarks of this late 2012 27-inch iMac. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave your comments down below. Like the video, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and I'll see you soon. Thank you.